I was listening to your new album and I feel like it has this big coming of age energy on it. I wanted to ask you about the title home video and like why you decided to call it that. So my dad took tons of home videos when I was growing up and I feel like I learned about who I am from those. So I thought that these songs were kind of like in the same vein as his impulse to document everything. I guess it's an homage to him. And what about your hometown, Richmond? It's changing a lot right now. Like the main thing people knew about Richmond is that it was the capital of the Confederacy in the Civil War. And so it has this like really racist and horrible past. But um, last summer, people started to tear down the Confederate monuments. I feel like the city is really calling for death to colonizers right now, which is awesome. And in the song Hot and Heavy, you talk about being back here makes me hot in the face. Are you singing about Richmond? I feel like I'm, I'm singing about Richmond, like returning home, but also it's like returning to memories at all, like uh, rereading journals or watching the home videos or uh, reminiscing can just feel kind of embarrassing. Do you think that home is a physical place or more of a feeling? I think that the best thing would be to make your body your home. I feel like at my very best, that's how I feel. Like wherever I am, I'm home because I'm with myself. I want to talk about VBS or Vacation Bible School. What was it like there? In the evenings, everyone would like go and sing and pray and cry and have like heightened emotional states. And I think like everyone there was like a pubescent kid. So I think it was like a unexpected breeding ground for romance. Is there anything that happens at VBS that people might find surprising or unexpected? I think that people think it's like a really wholesome place, but plenty of kids do drugs at church camp. Plenty of kids have sex at church camp. I think also like maybe a little trigger warning for this, but a lot of people at church camp were involved in like self-harm. So like that is stuff that kids go through. You bring up the impacts of being raised like in a religious environment on the record a few times. How do you think that impacted you growing up? I think that I learned a lot of things without even realizing that I was learning them. I mean, that's how childhood works. It just was second nature, like all of those beliefs, all of the behavior. It took a really long time for that to not be like my core of like everything that I thought about. I had a really strong faith and then I don't know what happened. It just stopped making sense. I actually just got the first physical copy of the vinyl. When did you write it or the bulk of it? Like started in 2017 and I wrote through 2018 and 2019. It feels so much farther in the past for me. And I, I still think the songs are good. I hope people will like them. But I feel like when I listen to it, I'm like, that's a completely different person in a completely different world. What's next for you? Are you, I see you're touring. Our first show is on Wednesday. It's like, I can't wait, but also I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> like, it could feel so good. It could be like the biggest high of my life or it could feel so weird. I'm sure it'll be full of some kind of rich feeling either way. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I'm excited for everyone else to get to listen to the record. I really love it.